Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and it's Saturday so I'm back with another slasher review as part of the Horror Man's Slashback Slasher Challenge series and this week's theme is alternate title slashes so what that means is Joe wanted us to review a slasher film that has an alternate name or title or the movie is also known as that particular title so yeah um kind of fitting because I've um, reviewed the previous two movies in this franchise last year so I'm going to be reviewing Sleepaway Camp 3 Teenage Wasteland. Now this one is also known as Nightmare Vacation 3 over in the UK which is a pretty cool title. Um, do I prefer it to Sleepaway Camp? I'm not sure. I think they are both pretty cool titles but yeah this one is known as Nightmare Vacation 3 in the UK and the whole franchise is also known as Nightmare Vacation over there um, at least on VHS anyway so yeah I definitely think this one qualifies for that um, pretty cool but Sleepaway Camp 3 takes place a year after the events at the camp in part 2 New owners have taken over the camp and they've decided to trial this new program where they bring in a group of pretty rich and privileged teenagers and they also bring in a group of sort of more poorer, underprivileged teenagers just to see how well they get on as kind of like a social experiment, I guess. Angela's back once again, however, this time around she has... Uh, taken up the identity of a character named Maria, which she kills off um, at the beginning of the film. So she's back at this camp and um, like classic Angela does, she starts killing off these campers one by one. So that is pretty much the storyline to Sleepaway Camp 3 or Nightmare Vacation 3. So now we'll move on to my thoughts. Now you guys already know that I'm a massive fan of the original movie and I think overall this is a really really solid and fun um, trilogy of movies. Now while part 3 is definitely my least favourite when it comes to the um, Sleepaway Camp trilogy it's definitely still a lot of fun and it's got a lot of that 80s charm um, within the movie too. So first and foremost we'll talk a little bit about the location. So Obviously, being a camp themed slasher, this is set within a camp. However, I'm going to kind of um, have one of my cons come through right now because I don't really think this one has the greatest camp themed vibe to it, despite being a camp themed slasher. The location's not bad, but it just doesn't really have that classic traditional camp setting feel like the other two movies do so that is a slight con that I have with it um, but in that being said though the location isn't bad whatsoever now we'll move on to the characters the characters are pretty typical for a late 80s slasher film and I didn't really have an issue with any of the characters they all play their roles pretty well and there's a good diverse um, bunch of characters in terms of personalities which are is always good so yeah no issues with any of the characters I really really liked Angela how she kind of took the identity of a another character Maria that was planning to attend this camp so she was kind of going back to the camp in secret I really really liked that and um, yeah she was awesome as always so really really liked um, the Angela character in this one too the soundtrack in this is awesome. There's some great sort of 80s music throughout, which I really, really liked a lot. So, yeah, the music within this movie is really, really 80s, and I really, really liked it. The kills, um, definitely not my favourite kills amongst the three movies, but I will say, though, the kills are good fun. There's two that really, really stand out, and the kills are kind of creative, too. Um, I really liked the flagpole kill. That was really, really awesome. That's probably my favourite kill within the movie. And there's a lawnmower death too, which was uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, the kills are pretty good. 
as well. But yeah, that's really all I have to say on Sleepaway Camp 3 or Nightmare Vacation 3. While it's definitely not my favourite within the franchise, it's certainly a worthy third movie to wrap up the original trilogy, and it is a lot of fun. So yeah, that is it for my review. If you guys have seen this one, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And if you haven't, I definitely recommend it. Or if you haven't even seen any of the three Sleepaway Camp films, I definitely highly recommend watching this trilogy. So yeah, that is it for this week's review. Until next Saturday when I'll be back with another review. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.